hello friends uh this is data dawn uh i just want to talk talk about like uh on a short video on how to become an etl developer uh so that's what i'm going to discuss today so if you guys don't know what etl is i will just brief it to you it is like extraction transformation and load extraction transform and load if you want to learn what etl is you can just check out my other video so here uh, it is basically a strategy uh, 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 methodology where we extract the data from various sources and load it into various sources so i'll just briefly talk about like how to become an etl developer and what are the various steps that is involved to become an etl developer so this is the overview of today's presentation we will uh, see the technical accountabilities of an etl developer what are the knowledge that etl developer has to possess and what would be the technological skills that etl developer has to possess and what would be the work experience technical uh, accountabilities uh, basically what an etl developer does is he makes sure that etl code is delivered and is running and it confirms to the specification and design guidelines uh, that it delivers the data in a proper uh, format uh, it aggregates and it does whatever uh, it is supposed to do that's what that what the etl uh, code has to do and uh, we have to uh, estimate the timelines for uh, you know or for the development to update the management like we basically we need to estimate how much time it will uh, take to you know uh, to develop a certain kind of etl code it depends on how complex the etl code is if it is simple uh, it may take some time if it is medium it may take some time and if it is complex it may take some more time and uh, uh, unit testing of etl code uh, basically after you develop a code we need to run the code and then test it once to ensure it uh, it is running fine okay that's what the etl code whether it complies uh, at the standards whether it is uh, working fine without any bugs so those kind of testing has to be done okay and uh, raise critical technical issues to etl design lead so while testing if you uh, come across any uh, issues or bugs or uh, you find that program is not working and it is not confirming to the the design is not confirming to the requirements those kind of things you need to raise that to the uh, etl designer this is etl lead basically and uh, you should also participate and uh, contribute uh, in, uh, to quality assurance team uh, you need to walk through the etl code to them and then uh, uh, help them in testing uh, the components okay and um, you know sometimes you know, the teams can go busy completing the task that they decide to do for time consuming uh, so so you know while uh, it ends up costing more time during testing and rebuild so if you don't design design the code properly you will have to spend more time in testing and rebuilding the code okay so that is the job uh, these are the technical accountabilities of etl developer okay so i'll move on to the next slide knowledge okay. knowledge is very important uh, as you all know uh, knowledge of the etl technology in the use of the project uh, basically if you guys use uh, uh, any technology be it a legacy like proxy or unix or uh, informatica um, uh, and popular etl tool or a data stage etl tool or abnicio or any other ETL tool in the market, SSIS, Microsoft SSIS. So you should possess the knowledge on the tool, the actual ETL tool which is used in the project. Okay. Understand ETL basic concepts of data flow, data and treatment, data consolidation, theme data capture and transformation. Which is basically we need to understand what is, uh, you know, uh, how the data flows, what is insert, what is upset, uh, what is update, what is delete. Uh, how the data is captured, how data is en enriched, how data is consolidated from various uh, sources. Uh, one source may be in uh, uh, different database, another source may be in another database. So basically data consolidation, how are they doing? So those kind of knowledge you should have. And you should understand the database concepts of referential integrity, like indexes and keys and tables. So uh, what is a primary key what is a uh, foreign key how when the re records are getting rejected you know you know uh, what is uh, entity relationship model uh, what one to what is one to many relationship many to many relationship these kind of things uh, it developer should possess and you should also know uh, how to read a data model like um, what is the data that is actually uh, uh, 
developing the code on. So you should have a knowledge on the data a little bit so that you can understand the data better. Uh, you know, you can also, you know, read this book called the Data Warehouse Toolkit, which basically talks about like how to build a data warehouse, uh, what are the various issues that comes uh, when you build a data warehouse, how to test the ETL code, how to build the ETL code. So those kind of things are elaborated in the Data Warehouse ETL Toolkit. So just to give you an overview that ETL is not only used uh, for data warehousing, it is also used for other integration purposes, whether you want to migrate the data, consolidate the data, so those kind of places you also use the ETL tool. Okay. Technology skills. Moderate expertise and experience in ETL to de development tool or ability to learn from a mentor on the project. So when it comes to a tool like ETL tool, you don't need to be like a hi-fi coder. You don't need to be a C++ coder or it's all graphical uh, interface. So nowadays the things are advanced so much. You can just uh, develop a code uh, just dragging and dropping things. So you don't have to code. Uh, you don't have to worry about um, a garbage collection, memory allocation, all low level programming things you don't have to worry about. But you should process what are the various options that we can configure uh, in the tool uh, so that uh, the tool, the code will run efficient. So Informatica, it, it, uh, it's a popular ETL tool, you know, uh, it all has a like a code that you need to develop and then run. I mean, you don't have to worry, write the code, skill lines of code. It is just the use a drag and drop uh, thing. Okay. So you can easily learn any ETL uh, tool. If you have uh, knowledge on one ETL tool, you can uh, learn other. So I worked in both Informatica and Data Stage. So it's bo both are different in architecture, but when you, when it comes to development, it, it, you feel it's like a same. So the terminologies may be different. But uh, on the whole, it looks like a same picture. Okay, so if you can't learn from people who know how to use the product, then you can go. You are going to spend a lot of extra time in simple tasks. Okay, then ability to navigate on the host server of a file management, file cleanup, and configuration tasks. Ability to query the source and target database for unit testing. So when you move data from one source to another source, we just start to verify if the data is correct you need to query the source data how it looks like you need to check the target data when the pro once the program is run so if a target is a file you need to cat the file and uh, show that in a unit testing result okay proficient with database sql language for user defined databases okay for example you need to uh, if you have a if you have a querying knowledge on any one database like oracle or sql server that is enough it is all pretty much the same so you should understand what is uh, indexes, what is primary key, why a uh, running query takes so much time. Uh, is there any, you need to contact the DB and clean up uh, the logs. Uh, 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 so those kind of things you need to have. So you need to coordinate with others and then resolve those issues. So SQL and database skills are the two great building blocks of ETL, okay? absolutely. So when uh, your ETL program is taking a long time, you need to figure out where it is taking a long time. Either it is at the source end or a target end or is it in the ETL itself. If it is in the source end, we need to tune the source query so that it runs faster and extract data. And if it is in target uh, end, you need to create indexes so that no things uh, uh, go smooth. Work experience. What kind of work experience we need uh, uh, to become an ETL developer? Uh, you can have an exposure to any programming language, uh, you know, in order to code uh, a transformation. So if you know VB, uh, C++ or VC++, anything, any kind of programming language that you have an experience on, so that really helps you in coding the transformations. Transformation is basically, you know, to transform the data. So if you want to change the case of uh, certain characters to upper case or lower case, or if you want to, you know, uh, truncate the strings, those kind of work, uh, you don't need to be, uh, if you just have some knowledge on the uh, transformations or, the, or on any programming language, you should be able to do it. Uh, you should have definitely have an exposure to database and the experience with database objects like uh, uh, view, tables, synonyms, uh, indexes, those kind of things you need to have exposure. I, I'm sure pretty much everybody has an experience with database because it's been extensively used across the enterprises. So you should have an, uh, knowledge on those database objects. And experience with ETL tools or data migration or data integration. Uh, basically, ETL tool is very easy to learn. Uh, you don't have to be like a hi-fi super coder to learn it. 
but you need to have a, a experience on the data integration so uh, uh, so if you have done any kind of data integration without the etl tool like if you use like oracle loader or any other programming language to perform etl so you should know what kind of issues that you will come across while doing this etl work so that is the key thing so it learning etl tool is not that uh, you know uh, rocket science you can easily learn it but you need to troubleshoot and uh, you know um, uh, solve all the issues that you come across while uh, while doing the etl development that is the key thing so these are the basic work experience that uh, you need to uh, have to become an etl successful etl developer uh, if you have any questions, you can write to me at datadawn at uh, gmail.com. Uh, you can also subscribe to my channel. Uh, I have a lot of videos on what is ETL, what is Informatica, what is data stage, what are the databases. So you can just subscribe to me and get benefited. It's all for free. You can just uh, write to me at datadawn at uh, gmail.com. Uh, thank you all for watching my videos. I wish you all the best to become a successful ETL developer. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.